All right, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to learn how to take a scanned in image and convert it so you can have a transparent background. It makes it a lot easier to color it and gives you a lot more freedom. So here's my scanned in image. Um, we need to adjust some of the brightness contrast, but that's okay. Well, right now we're just going to deal with getting it so we can color it. Um, so first just go over here, double click on your background layer. And when you double click on that, it shows um, just hit OK and that unlocks the layer. Um, go ahead and, and you can use the marquee tool um, to grab everything or you can just select all. Um, just go ahead and copy that by hitting Control C um, or Command C um, if you're on a Mac. Um, then we're going to go over here to our tabs. Right now we're on our layers. Let's go over to our channels and we're just going to add a new one and this is going to give us an alpha channel. Um, then just go ahead and paste that. Control V, Command V and now we have our image there. Go ahead and deselect Control D and let's go um, now we'll take this alpha channel and go up to images adjustments and invert. So now we got an inverted image. Let's go back to our layers tab. Create a new layer just above our old one and now what we're going to do is we're going to load our alpha channel. So go to select load selection and under the channel drop down menu, just go to Alpha 1 and hit OK. Now you can see we got our marching ants around our characters. Um, go ahead and select a color. Um, we'll just do black and grab your paint bucket and just drop it in there. Um, you can't really tell right now. Um, go ahead and deselect that, Control D. And let's just take away our original scanned in image uh, by hitting our eyeball. You can see that. Um, there's our transparent background with our, our new line art. Um, to see that better, let's just take uh, and add a new layer underneath that. And let's just add some white there. And we'll just add it underneath there. So there's our new image. Um, looks pretty good. Um, here's our original scanned in image. And then here's our transparent background. Um, so this allows us to do all sorts of stuff. We can, you know, fill it with different color. Um, makes it a lot easier to do all sorts of. Well, coloring is is the main thing, um, but as you can see, you know, you can paint behind it now, and really uh, have a lot of freedom. So that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, drop them down there at the comments. Um, but this will kind of allow you more freedom and get you started on new adventures. Anyway, thanks for watching.